Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. How was the ninth, and how is the training going so far? This is the third week of the training, the second week of the training, and I hope everyone has actually been doing great and have been following along with the program. So I hopefully today's network will not even will not disturb in Jesus' name. I just hope so. So my village will come and attack me again. <laughs> so let's just just kick start the meeting. But sadly enough, today I would not be going through YouTube questions as there are a whole lot of questions to be answered from the question section. So like I like all that we always advise try to always write your questions on the form you are given. Don't wait for the live class before you ask questions. So that, with that being said, we will, uh, with that being said, so I'll just dive into the questions that we have on the form and I will probably not, I would ignore the questions from the YouTube today. So if you have questions, you still have the chance, you still have chances to put them up on the form. That was sent to you that was sent to you through the LMS. So try to feel that. So that's great. Okay. I would like to start from the first one. Somebody is asking a question, which is I'm working with VS Code and I can I make slight alteration or I had another set of information to the code I'm writing. My live server does not automatically refresh and add the new information. Even when I refresh myself, it does not work until I open live server again before I get the, to see the changes. Well, it is advisable that whenever you're following a tutorial or a class, don't do, yes, everybody wants to experiment. I also want, I love experimenting things. So meaning that me trying to experiment things, I probably may break a lot of things. So for me not to be able to do that, I try my best not to go beyond what I should do. So the person that's having that issue, what I would advise you to do is on install your VS code, go back to that video and watch the exact way the, the, the mentor has, Mr. Isaka described. So with that, you would not have issues of this VS code not working properly. So my advice to everyone is try to follow the tutorial and you can go beyond that if you know you are you know what you're doing but don't experiment things you don't know vs code is a little bit delicate plugins there are different extensions on vs code that that can actually cause you to, to for it to function in the sense that there can be conflicts with plugins on vs code so what i would advise you to do is don't install same functional like you people with, i know there are two we have pretty prettier and there's one, one uh, extension that is a formatter also. So don't try to have both of them. Prettier is recommendable. So having both of them will break you can actually cause a breakage when you would want to try to do it in the other one for the other one. So my advice is stick to one. Don't also go beyond yourself. Then somebody's asking, can we use VS Code for the tax? No, the submission mode for the tax is is code paid, but yes, you can use VS Code to test locally. Once you are, once you are done, you copy what you are, what you did and paste them on the VS Code or on, sorry, on code paying. So don't, but there's nothing like submitting using using your VS Code. The submission link is code paying. Funny enough, during the course of this program, I had somebody who sent me like um a URL for me to actually to, to check and it was sending something like this. Three thousand slash task. This will not go anywhere, it's error. It can only view this on your local host. So this is not a submission link. If you try your best trying to say, okay, you have killed your tax and you're like, oh more, the method will grade this thing for me will grade a great thing. This is not a, a what is it called? A, a web URL that you can send out. This is a local URL that only you can access. So don't try to 
submit something like this. You can use this one to test. When you are done testing, then you can move your whatever whatever you test to the code pane. So just copy and paste. That's all you need to do. Okay. So going forward, I have another one who is asking, what is Dave? The tutor kept mentioning something like that. Yes, Dave, Dave is just like, Dave is a parent container. Dave is an HTML tag, but he's a parent container. He's like an housing. I see a lot of people making mistakes of putting Dave like an H1 tag or something, or replacing Dave with tags, like normal HTML tags. Yes, Dave is also an HTML tag, but it's just a box. So let me go to my code pen. Let me just show you people something on code pen. Wow, so that I'll be able to clarify the difference of it. And if you watch that video closely, you'll be able to know the difference between Dave, that's D-I-V, and um, other HTML tags. So I see people doing something like this. Um, Dave, then putting content. This is Zuri. Dave, doing something like this. This is wrong. Yes, it output what you need correctly. You would see what you need correctly, but this is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. A Dave is just a parent container that is used in housing your your other tags like h1 h1 your h2 and whatever tag you have so let's let's take it like this take dave like a mother do you get like parents so now take this as a parent and this is these are the children this is a child so the mother and the father houses the children. So there's a constraint between the mother and the ch children, and that's what makes up a family. So you have a family, and there are also different families. So take this like as a family. If you have multiple of these, this is another family. So you are sectioning them, you are differentiating them that this family is different from this family, meaning this box is different from this box. So just take this as an as an housing, like a container, like a parent. So that's the difference between these. So in summary, Dave is just a container that is used to house other, other tags. Put other that you can put content inside, other tags for other content. The H1, H2 are content tags. While Dave is a container tag. Great. So with that being said, let me move on to the next question I have here. I also have, okay, somebody's asking, Hello, I was graded poorly, quite dropping the answers to my question, my profile link, and there was no feedback on why I was graded poorly. I was really... Okay, in this case, I would advise such person just send, whenever you ask, I've said this previously in my, one of my classes, when you are having issues about your grade, please include your link. And that's your, your student's ID. If per venture, you don't use the submission link and you want other prompt answer also, you can message the mentor or message the coordinators. Messaging the coordinators makes it easy and the mentors makes it easy for you to be attending to and it will know that, okay, yes, prioritizing will be made easier. It is not our goal for us to fail you. Our goal is for you to learn. So we tell giving you an, uh, a wrong, maybe failing you or giving you a low mark is not for you to feel bad. It's just for you to try to learn, pick from those mistakes and continue. Then for this kind of scenario where there was no feedback, then you should try to send your student ID to the respective mentor or you can send it to any other mentor that you wish. Then I have another one who, is, uh, who said, how much of JavaScript do we need to know to be good with front end? Well, we've not got into the JavaScript part. so. And also, I would be doing it this way. I would attend to questions relating to this week's tax and last week's tax. I've gotten feedbacks of people who are getting the issues of we discussing some things that they don't know about, they've not heard, and 
is making it look as if there's another class going on without them. So with that, I would not be attending to classes on JavaScript aside your Node.js or JavaScript tags like that, or tags that are not related to the week they are currently on or previous week. So with that being said, I would go on to the one about more JavaScript you need to know to be a good front-end developer. Yes, as a, to be a good front-end developer, you need, you need to know the basic, basic, HTML, like sorry, basic um JavaScript. I was reading the comments, don't mind me. Basic JavaScript, need know the syntax, know how to interfere with the DOM and all that. But you would also get the basic that you need in this training. So be rest assured of knowing something that is enough for enough for you to actually build, build a project. So JavaScript does not end. Let me just clarify that. JavaScript is a continual thing. You can never see the end of JavaScript. Yes, you may need JavaScript back and forth, like at the back of it, and you know everything about JavaScript. But JavaScript, the end of JavaScript, because each, every, every month or every period, JavaScript keeps updating. So new features comes out. Some of the ones that we're using because it's depreciated and new, um, what is it called? Framework also is being released, and JavaScript is very and uh, like so big that you probably may not know everything. But knowing the basic is enough for you as a JavaScript developer or front end. Can you teach us from scratch how to work with with two tasks? Ah, okay. I know a lot of people are having issues about with two tasks, saying okay, probably they don't have clear. Um, sorry. They don't have a clear understanding of what they're supposed to do, or they're having issues on trying to understand the question. Well, the question is explanatory enough, but I think one thing we are having issues on, that's for people, is their ability to break down the questions, which I will try to break it down during this call, but it's advised that whenever you are in the training, we have different learners, categories of learners. We have those who watch something and picks it up immediately, or those who just came through and they understood what they need to do. And we have some who actually read and they need to read and read it repeatedly for them to get it. So in my category, I read often, like, so I need to read and read before I get something. But so I would advise people that are in my category to rewatch. Don't code when you're watching the first time. Watch then come back, code and try. The moment you're trying to code along, you may, you may not get what you need. You may not get what you need and you may not get it as needed. So I would advise you, first of all, watch it. Don't rush. Then the second time you can practice. So for this, I would, let me say, somebody having this basic tribute page, the week two task. I also got a question, which I'll also be answering now of somebody asking, this is with two tasks. Okay, a tribute page is an over, this part that the says right. So what they asked you to do here yeah, is, you can go online, go on Wikipedia, go on anything. Well, I have, I have what's it called? One of my favorite person that I like is this person, Sonny Sanga. Sonny Sanga. Is also is a papaya that is, is what is it called. So what you can do is look for him. You will get what is it called. You will get a story about him. What you have to do is look for uh, somebody you like, like online or whatever. Get a story about him. Write something about him. Make a list. Make a list of what you learned about him. Like I said, list 10 items using a list. That's the L-I-U-L function. Watch the tutorial, you're able to get this. So make a list and put a reference of where you actually got it from. They said, include a link that leads to the biograph of the person. So if I'm to write the test, if I'm to write the, the tax, this is what I'll be including. I'll just put reference. I got what I'm writing from here. So it's always advisable you get somebody you know has something published online. And also, I got somebody's question who was asking, 
she did from what we were taught or something. Well, what we need to just, the major aim of this is for you to know how to use tags. And that's why you see, and showing the following tags in your work, they're small, thick caption. Thick caption is an image. Small, the way it is being said, strong, you should know how we said, block quotes, that's strong, big, something. Block quotes, you should know what this, and also figure. So what you're expected to do is include all these as a tag and so if you're including small there should be a text in it so you have something like this small let me give you an example let me say yeah I have small oh then i have this is a training and i have closing brackets small yeah, so this is it. This is it. You would see a difference in it. If you watch those tutorials, you would be able to get what was being, uh, what you were asked to do. So they only said you should include this small. Let me just change that. So you know the difference. You have a P tag, a P tag. As you can see, this is smaller, while this is bigger. Oh, this is smaller, this is bigger. So these are how they are expected to actually input things. So they said input small, other things as you want. Then going to the some going to the which there's a way they gave you, they've even given you an attribute to use. What they mean by attributes are all these things to differentiate. What attribute means is differentiating your tags, how to differentiate your tags. What are the things that makes your tag distinguish? So you can add the class as an attribute, you can add an ID as an attribute, whatever that makes your classes, your tags, just to be able to distinguish your tags. Your, your, um, tags. So they said you should also add an attribute of style, giving it a height, that's the image, a height of 200, and also giving a width of 200 pixel. Then submission mode is code pen. Don't submit a Google Doc this um profile you will get an 0 0.5 for that so always ensure you submit a code pen url as asked in the question so anything that been uh, asked submit in that in that format emphasis submission mode is very important you will not be regretted if you submit google docs for this current tax and if at all any submission mode requires you to use the google doc i am submitting a different link you will not be graded very well. The grade you will get is 0 0.5, clearly written. So that being said, I would I think I've been able to clarify for this task. So let me see if I can clarify for the other task, which is the table task. For the table task, you were asked to create this. Going forward, I noticed somebody also asked, oh, okay, the next question, I thank God, that's the next question. Somebody also asking clarity of how the table should look. Yes, you're supposed to figure that out. The said one, you should write an heading. Okay, let me just do this for you, just to make people's work easier. So, you have a Google Doc. Don't use Google Doc. You have to write it as a code. I'm only trying to illustrate what you're supposed to do. So don't make the mistake of going to use a Google Doc. Let, let me repeat myself. Don't use a Google, a Google Doc to submit. Don't jump the videos and get to this place and say, oh, this is the answer. And I want to go and copy it. Don't do that. Follow the video. Google Doc is just I'm only using it to illustrate what is expected of you to do. So table, let me create a table. So the set, you should have, what is it called? The first question says, everything should contain this is about the school and the teacher. And what is it is about the school? What you just have is this. So you can make this as editing. I have something like this. So using an H1 tag, they said, so maybe H1 or whatever you want to use, but I'll use an H1 tag for mine, but I, but I will not put, okay, then let me use an H1 tag. Bold, 
Let me increase the font size. So this is just like an editing. Always try to beat one thing about what, um, what you're doing is beauty. Ensure there is beauty in your work. So don't jam pack things together. Jam packing will not make it work very well. So you have, you have what is it called? Then the next part of it says, um, ensure there is a TH with a serial number, student, serial number, student, subject, and total. Total score as column. So using the, your TH tag or with the tags being requested. So you have what is it called? The first one is two serial number, which is just slash dash n. So you have this your one, two, three, or whatever. So let me just do the heading first. Then you also have you can do it in whatsoever way. There are there several ways you can do this. Let me just go to the first method. Is then you have um what was next student. Subjects and total score as column. So you have for the subject, you will just do you have maths, let's say maths, English. I'm not following what is there actually. Um physics. You have physics. Yeah. You have chemistry. Um you have um accounting i don't know i'm not following what is on that list i'm just writing for clarity then now you have total score the total score should be here you have total score so now this is the first part they say you should do very easy you've been able to achieve this and this then now in your adding elements, there should be an ID. So if this was a code, this would just have an ID in it. So I can just note the IDs can be, it should be the same thing because probably when you want to add style to it, it should be like so. Your TH, you can add an ID to this, add an ID to this also. So ID is just the attribute of, of what they are doing. They say that if they say you use an ID element, use ID. If they say you use class, use class. If it's just inline CSS that style, use that. Don't do otherwise. I have people who would want to implement with JavaScript. I had that in the previous course. Those ones will be graded down in the sense that my, even though you get it correctly, there'll be penalty for it for going otherwise from the instruction that was asked. So you also have the table row element, which is the class. You have subject calls and all that. So you have a self spading all these ones are CSS. And what is it called? The normal HTML. Watching this video would help you get it. So they said the total score will be twice the score of the column. So meaning this, if you had the column this incorrectly, meaning this would actually be bigger or longer. You have the row span and you have the column span. So watching those tutorials, first I would advise before you attempt the question, watch the three tutorials before you before you continue, before you do otherwise. Then the second way of doing this part is, let me create a new table. So the second part that you can use in doing this is through one. You can put your slash n Yeah. Then this part, the entire part of this section, you can just call it subjects. You'll be able to do this with your course span subjects because it's going to be long. So you can just put subject, then yeah, you can now put the classes, the what's it called, the, the um the things you need, maybe math. Oh, let me copy this. Maybe math. of English, I'm just replicating this part of time, English, whatever, like as you have. Then the last part, what you just have here is total score. This is the correct format that you're supposed to use. The other format, but this is more likely for you to get your Mac well and good. So for clarity, 
You can watch this video to see how you should do it. Like I said, this one, don't take it just this, you know, the full line subject as it is. Because in your question, you were asked, you were asked, the, uh, the, the table head has a serial number, students, subjects, and total score. Did I have student there? Okay, sorry, student should be here. There should be students here. Students. The student should be here, maybe students. Students, so with our names and everything. Don't make a mistake of putting everything. Like maybe you put maths, you go on that, you put English. Don't do this. This is wrong. You put chemistry. This is wrong. Don't do this. This is wrong. This is wrong. Don't do this. So with this being said, I'll move over to another question. Yes, no, pen, no penalty for using CSS. CSS makes your work beautiful. But if you are using JavaScript, because I know some people would like to use, what is it called? JavaScript styling, kind of, in the sense that they would use document to try to make the test big or something. They just want to make it different. Use the normal tags. Otherwise, if you need to use the CSS or whatever, ensure you use it in a polite and a very good manner in a good way. Don't use it in a way that it will look like, oh no, this person just feel, okay, I want to just do this in the way I feel. Yeah, it's good to actually show yourself sometimes, but instruction is always very key also. Okay. I had, a, I had a joke from one of my teacher. I don't know if it's reality, but I hope it, I felt it was reality. They gave some students some couple of tests to do. And the instruction clearly said, don't write anything in your answer booklet. Don't write anything in your answer booklet. But now, because the students were very anxious, it was very simple, a very simple exam. Like maybe you are giving a, a secondary student to write A, B, C, A, B, C, A, A to Z. Then now you're now telling them, you give them five minutes. And like five minutes is too much, so three minutes to finish. You understand? The instruction wrote, don't write anything in your question booklet, on your answer booklet. But you not following the instruction, you started shade, you start writing ABC to the end. That's and the, the instruction clearly states anybody that, that not write will get a full mark, but you're writing that's zero. So the instruction is always very key. Listen to the instruction, interpret it before you start answering. Don't answer your questions without interpreting them. Okay, so let's go to the next question about, about status update assignment. Is it our state of origin or state of residence. Please use your state of residence for that. Then I have another question. How do I set up my VS code? I noticed that none of the things I've been doing is in line with the HTML introduction. First, there is a video about how to set up your, um, what is it called? There's a post, your resources of, on how to set up um, your VS code. So I would advise you people, watch those resources don't just jump. Watch them. Resources are meant for you. Resources, assignments are not just meant for you to answer. If you watch resources clearly, you would not have any issues because in all the resources, they have been attempted, like answers have even been given to the resources. Funny enough, with the resources, it's always very easy. And I can I can assure you that in five minutes' time, you finish what you are doing. Sorry, that's five hours exaggerating. Don't mind me, just like the person that said. You can build an e-commerce site in one hour, like in one hour. I was really exaggerating, don't mind me. <laughs> okay, so you have this, what is it called? Set up front-end environment. Mm -hmm. This is the video for you to set up your, your VS code. Watch it. Watch it. There are, there are tutorials here that would help you in setting up your videos, how to set up gate, gate, code pen, replit, how to use it, how to set up Stack Overflow. Don't skip your resources. Resources are very key. They are very, very key. This is, it. as you can see, this is just set up. It's trying to set up something. Resources are key. So don't ignore your resources. They are meant for you. Watch them and you'll be good to go. You have less lesser questions for for mentors to answer, and also you'll be more productive yourself. So watch those resources yourself also. So I have another question we saying, 
I said front end question. I said how to create in depth HTML page for task giving today. Watch the resources, you will know how to create an in depth HTML page for the tax. So, what's the meaning of timeline of tax on the task? Timeline means at the end of that period, you'll not be able to submit that task again. So, once that time elapsed, is elapsed, you won't be able to submit again. Deadlines is used to constrain you to be more productive and also to keep track of what you are doing. If timelines are not set, nobody would no everybody just do it at the time they want so it makes you because in an organization in an organizational setting they would always give you deadlines to meet so when they give you deadlines what is expected of you is finish your work before the deadline and submit once that deadline elapses yes, in the work you continue but in jury you won't it will be closed and it will not be reopened so for those people asking oh we need to reopen this we need that please help us reopen this for clarity try to start when the tax are published watch the video if you spend at least four hours per day on a video and the next day you pick up the tax and you do you have already solved 80 percent of what you need to continue so don't don't skip to the videos and say i want to just figure it out you won't get it if you feel that way that you don't okay maybe you just finish watching this channel video and the next thing is okay let me just run around and do the tables since i know a little bit about sta watch everything watch your satisfaction and feel yes have something in your head think about it before you start implementing okay the another question that somebody is asking okay Okay. Okay, I have. So there's another question somebody's asking. Which is, um, how can I use attributes in an HTML tag? How can you use attributes in an HTML tag? Attributes, like I said, attributes are like IDs. Attributes are like IDs. Attributes are IDs. So for you to use attributes in your HTML tags, let me show you an example of how to use an attribute in an HTML tag. You have this, this is examples of attributes. You have something like, you have something like ID equals, ID equals um, hello or whatever, tag, whatever. So always ensure that you put well i'm not putting meaningful name but in your ids always put a meaningful name and a distinguished name in your ids so that's how to use attributes how can i use okay how can i what is attribute in the tax is pointing out so attributes there is a there's the way to put attributes and now i've showed you how to use attributes attributes is just made for your styling for you also to know that you understand styling um what is it called attributes also the the in them front end asking us to fetch another historical man or use the one that was explaining that yes the the tax is ask, is asking you to fetch history of another person so not your own it's history of another person the tax is asking you to fetch so you also there's also another question here saying are we to use code bank for all the tax for all the all the tax the tax that requires you to use code bank please use code pen So ensure you follow the instructions and use what you are you were asked to use. Don't use things that you're not asked to use. If submission mode clearly states code pen, use code pen. Don't use what you feel you should use. Then there's another question of somebody. Of somebody asking.
Okay, there's another question I have here. Somebody is asking, mm, how are we going to go about the triple page? There was no zero tutorial giving out on how to research. Just go online, search on anything. You can even search Christian Ronaldo. Just get a link. I showed you an example of how to go about that in this in this in this room. What is it called? This is our class. So you can watch it again. Then I have another person who said, please, I don't understand the video tutorial. Okay, you know, teaching some basics. Well, I would advise don't skip tutorials. Don't skip from okay, maybe they said introduction to programming. They say, okay, I don't need to go to introduction to programming. Let me just go to introduction to HTML because I want to focus on HTML. No, the reason why that taking you introduction to programming is for you to understand what you want to learn in the ahead. Don't jump from primary one to primary six. You will get the effect. You will see the effect when you jump from primary one to primary six because maybe what they what you're supposed to do in primary three that was that was going to help you in primary six, you did not take it very serious. So don't jump, don't jump, follow it the way it is being listed. It is listed for a reason. Then I have another question. We say, we said, um, my tables in code bank is duplicating rows and column. How do I do it? It depends on what you've written. It won't do that if you if you are using the correct format. If you are using the correct format, it won't do that. Watch the videos and you would see it work perfectly the way it's expected to work. So watch the tutorial, go with it slowly. See, one of the crazy things that happens as a developer, and it still happens to me, you are following a tutorial side by side. It's normal, don't worry, but just need to just calm down. Calm your nerves and you will get it. You are following a tutorial, then you find out that what the person is printing out happens to work. But on your own end, it's not working and you're like, ah, what am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. What you're actually doing wrong is that you did not follow it to the, to the end. And you did not follow it. Maybe you missed out something at the end. Coding can be crazy. Major HTML, CSS, very, very mad set of what is it called, like markup language. Just maybe let me give you a case in a, an example. A clear example is you having to write semicolon as column. You should not print out the way you expect it to do. Or you probably think this is this and this is correct. This, oh, where is it? This is same thing as this. Or so we have. Do you think this is same thing as this? I don't know. Let me see if I can widen my screen for you. So you see this. See, a lot of people copy something like this. Let me remove this one. You don't need this. So you look at it and you think that the same thing. This thing, this one, you think that the same thing. They're not the same thing, though. They're not the same thing. It's a throw up errors. This is different from this. Likewise, ensure that you use your semicolon the right way. So don't make the mistake of using what is different from something. Mm -hmm. So Going forward, let me to my next explanation. I have um please can you shed more light on this? Ensure the table element has an ID with th in particular or the capture or the capture. Uh, well, you can to be on the server side, I would advise you to use on, on, on both, which is the th and the capture, the caption that's the editing tag. Just put an idea to boot. They're not asking you to style it or something. Or if it needs if it needs to be for you to style it, you can style it, but just know that just for clarity and for you to be on the server side, put the HD element on the on the bottom. They will not penalize you for doing that. And that in this case scenario. Uh -huh. So I have another person saying, Are we going to submit with code pen too for the tax table? Yes, code pen submission for the tax table. Then I have somebody who is asking the tribute page, do we add the HTML scalency or just the body tag? Use the scaling, the HTML scaling. T. Use all the tags you are required. That is the normal HTML tag. Yes, even though it's throwing up errors, in as long as it's printing out something, write it. What Code Pen is expecting you to do is not for it's for you that okay, don't write 
what is it called? Just input what you need to do. But in this case, try to write it so that we'll know that, yes, you know what HTML skeleton is. Because so that you will not get to a scenario where you have to work when you're using VS Code and you have to start, ah, um, I don't know this one. I've not been taught this one. Uh, did not did not take me through how to create a skeleton or something. So we, you need to know it. So you don't get confused in an interview when you see it in structured in that way. There's somebody is asking, I would love to regret I'm certain about submit about what I submitted. I attentively followed the given instruction. Please, I would love to be regretted. Okay, what I would advise you, the person is if you are sure, as you said, send your student ID to one of the mentors or me, we would check it for you. But if otherwise there's a mistake about it and you claim you are very, very sure you got it correctly, probably there may be an omission. They may subtract mark from you. And if per venture, the mark you got was 0 0.5 and there was no mark for them to subtract, they'll remove that 0 0.5 and probably remove from the next this thing. I'm not trying to scare you. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. I was already kidding about that. But just what I'm trying to say in all is try to be sure and don't just make false acquisitions. And I do say the, the, the goal of this internship is not to fail you, it's for you to learn. And your own goal should not be focused on getting 100 over 100. Your focus should be on improving your own skill set. Improve your skill set, know what you are doing, get what you're expected to do. Don't jump from what you are not supposed to do. Like, don't jump. Okay. With that being said, I will go on to the next question. Are we allowed to, we we'll have somebody asking, are we allowed to add HTML structure, structure to our assignment assessment on code? But yes, add it. Regarding the third assignment of Mr. Adi, which link, submit a code pen link, server URL link. Have you hosted it? No, we've not talked about hosting yet. So don't move to hosting. Server URL link, I hope somebody's not just thinking of the, what is it called? What I just reviewed previously, that's the local host server. So if it's not about that, please use the code pen link. Don't use any standard link. Then I have people who, who use what is the code. When they said use a link, don't try. We knew that, yes, you can you can shorten, you know how to shorten link, like probably using Kotli or bit something. Please, if they said, if the requirement says use code pen, paste a code pen URL. Don't paste a link that you embed code pen inside. You might have an issue when there's a, there's a time we need to grade in a very massive way and that will be omitted. And you may not be lucky that, you may you may be unlucky that you may not be regraded. But I have some people that I would, I would permit for this. But going forward, submissions like, after this class, submissions like that, they are trying to embed inside on that issue. You'll be graded down. And these reasons should be stated clearly. So don't do otherwise. I'm a front end, no student, but my triple tax is not showing on my LMS. Oh, wow, that's serious. Okay, if that's the case, please message me or message Chikere or an or coordinator on Zool, on Zool or any other mentor, front end or back end, or whatever mentor you actually lay your hands on so that this can be rectified for you and can look into that. And somebody saying, which location do I save the image to be able to, you may not even need to save the image. You may not need to save images. Let me show you how to copy out image. So let me say I have, um, Sunisanga. don't mind me. Let me search for Sony, let me search for something. Let me do Sony. Sunisanga. Okay, I've even opened it, let me just do it here. Sanga, you go to images, whatever image you want to use. Let me just copy this. Copy image address. Like I said, you don't need to go and start looking for a way to host it. If I come here and I do IMG, IMG, SRC, then I paste. Have you seen? This is, let me put alt. You can see it brought out the image. You don't need to go and host the image or something. Just copy the this in URL. Maybe in this case, because it's now too long, you can now use those quickly, this thing, those short, link shortener. 
for your own good. We are also for the method that will grade you so that you know how to say, ah, why did this person just put a very long something? The goal of quotes is for you to be short, short and working perfectly, not for you to be extremely long. So you can shorten this kind of links, but submission link, you don't shorten it. So for this case, this is just the way you can put images instead of you trying to go and look for how to host it. You don't really need to look for how to host it. Copy the image URL, um, that's email address, and you're good to go. Then um, on the other side of it, somebody who is having to ask, um, um, please, the front end calendar mm -hmm. dropped for yes, please confirm it. Thanks. Okay, I would have to confirm this one later to check. But if it's working, then you are good to go. Mm -hmm. Please, I can't find my tribute task on the dashboard. Talk about the live texture today by Victoria. As a live chat, but I was starting to help this medium would help. Okay, please, Mr. Dominic, send me a message if this is still happening so that we can look into it or send him any other mentor a message about what you are currently facing. So, that being said, let's say we have another one. Ensure the table where has serious number, this thing. My question regards mm -hmm. this question above. I want to ask what is meant by column mm -hmm. for the second part and if it was called as a column, can it be as close span? Column means, you know the meaning of column. What column means? This is a column. Like just a space, space. Like put a section. This is like a column where you can write things. So they say you should create a section for what is it called, total score. So like this, almost like this. So you don't need to, so you are asking for the column part of it. So that's just like an example of what is being asked of you. Then going forward, I have another question of somebody who is yeah, asking, yeah. Um, I have a lot of questions. I can't find the resources on the LMS post. What of the lessons? Oh, you have to, I don't know, just try to message me. And shall I show you how, uh, you've signed to a course? That's for Ibrahim. But if at all you are still having this issue, please try to message a mentor or the coordinators. Somebody is also asking to ask um, the week two tax system here, what's the mode of submission? If the mode of submission says URL, no, they're asking for code paying. So the submission should be code paying. So somebody's asking, um, can't access tax on the LMS. This is where it actually, but if you this tip exists, please send a message to me, either me or other mentors. I'm silver codes, by the way, either me, or other mentors, or the coordinators, so that this can be rectified and you would not have to miss the deadline. Note with all these issues, best thing you should do is call the attention of the mentors or coordinators because deadlines will not be extended because of you. Aside, if needs be, and you see that, yes, everybody is affected, please ensure you speak out once you notice anything mm -hmm. that is not functioning very well. On your LMS, be it your LMS, the LMS should be the major thing. Then uh, somebody is asking another question about about the single HTML page on code pen containing our name, a sentence about us, goals. Okay, should we structure the code in normal containing? Yes, structure it in normal this thing. How lengthy should the page be about us and our goals in the internship? Uh, that one is left to you, but you should know it's just a summary. Just summarize, you don't make it like as if you are creating a newspaper that is very long that does not have an ending. Just summarize it. It can make it beautiful, cool and fine. I love beautiful things. That's why I'm a front-end developmental and a developer also. So you can also beautify it. You know, don't beautify it by adding CSS like you know, just basic things, just basic things. Because I know somebody can go and start creating a, a, a portfolio for that person. Please don't create a portfolio website for that person. That's why I say that a single page, that's a simple, a simple single page. Then somebody that's going to ask, I can't find the tax of tribute. Well, this is now much. So, but Please send a message to me or other mentors. That's the advice I give for people having these issues. 
For the front end tax, the to do instructions aren't clear. Oh, wow. Please, I hope the ones that I was able to clarify today are clear for you to be able to move on. But if it's still, you still feel they are un unclear, you can ask your peers, but if you feel nobody's responding to you, you can also ask me. We have some that have submitted already and are doing great. So you can also be one of them. So all you just need to do is ask questions. Then I have somebody also asking, kindly help me understand how to input colors and ID in the tables. I have not an error message. Or I don't seem to really understand that fully. But like I said, to do that is easy. So assuming you have uh, you have a Dave, um, what you just have to what you have, you have to add, add is this class. If it's class table error, You have something like this, ID. So as easy as it, I'm only giving you a clue of what you should do, as easy as this. So, but don't do otherwise in the sense that adding class, classes are attributes just to differentiate and also to ensure that this is what I need. They are differentiating it and can be called on. You can use it for styling, for your JavaScript, makes your works easier and makes it to make all your tags different. But on cases where you have multiple TH and are going to get same style or same JavaScript listed, use same name for everything. So on another question, oh, I should be rounding up shortly. Then I have somebody that's asking the question, please, can you expand it on debugging and its relevance? Mm -hmm. Well, there may be, there should be a part where you learn about debugging, but debugging helps you make a well-structured code and you don't have more bugs like, and also feature bugs. You will notice on sites, you will see something like, console C. These are bugs. These are bugs. Some of them are bugs. Some of them are not just one in it. But you see them as bugs as you see. But I'm not going into bugs class this period. And I don't think I'll be going into it. So I don't want to dive it for more to actually going through. So I'm only telling you about bugs and all that, just basic, but I'm not saying anything about bugs. So we have somebody also asking, how do we need what do we need JS for do JS for? How does it apply to front-end course? Are we going to be taught of it? Is it an option? Yes, you'll be taught. What Node.js? Node.js is back end. And it's always very good as a front end developer for each new. I'm not saying you should know JavaScript, what's it called? Node.js. No basic. So that it will help you know how to consume APIs. As a front end developer, you'll be consuming APIs. And consuming APIs means you are getting something from the back end, from the database, using the back end logic. It will also help you structure your, 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 your knowledge of JavaScript. But don't go in depth into Node.js if you are still battling with front end. Don't go in depth. If you still have issues battling with front end, I would sincerely advise you not to go into Node.js. OK. My time is up, but I paid for just two minutes from our mentor, which is also, is also available here. Mr. Isaac, are you there? Yeah, go ahead. Good morning. Great, great. So I have somebody also asking, what do we need Node.js for? Okay, I've answered that. I, my calendar should Node.js office instead of HTML instead of JavaScript. How do, I do not know how to join front-end office as, please. Okay, somebody please can help me send the calendar link for those that can see access it, or I will, Try to do that myself now. For those having the issue of um, um, what is it called? Those having issues with submitting, um, syncing to the calendar front end or something. So what you need to do is 
Basil, sorry, I missed this. So let me just get the front end link and I'll post it for you. Where is it? Uh, where is it? I'm trying to get the calendar link. Okay, I need to go to the normal post. Sorry. Sorry, so this is what I will do. So let me just do that. And I think I'll round up the class, middle class, send that and we'll close. Oh, sorry, we're not closing. Mr. Isaka would continue from, oh, general. General, I will try to get this, not to waste much of your time. I will get this and I will paste it on the, on the, that's the channel, mm -hmm. the respective channel that is needed. Okay, thank you very much for joining my class. Um, also, your class has not ended, so it's not a bye-bye. So we we'll have to continue from where we stopped and the question, answering of questions. Like I said, questions on YouTube might be ignored today. So you have been advised to send your questions to the form. Questions on YouTube might be ignored and maybe 100% possibility, it will be ignored. So try to use the form, use the right form and the right method and you will not have any issues regarding your questions. Okay, thank you. Mr. Istaka, over to you, sir. So let me- All right, all right, thank you so much. Thanks for the class. Um, hi everyone, um, good morning. Um, trust you had, um, a good night's rest. I'll be taking it on from where my senior colleague has stopped. Um, I got some kind of, um, I got some questions and I got some some clarification I, I want to make. I don't know because I didn't follow up the, the class from the beginning, so I don't really know uh, if it has been answered or not. But um, I got a question about how do you had, uh, let me be share, okay, I'm not sharing my screen. Okay, I can just share. So I got a question on how, how to add um, image on um, image on uh, what do you call it on code pen, and then um, secondly, I got a question on um, the course pan is not twice. How to do the course pan twice the um, the other one? So I got those two questions, and I will be. Uh, I'll be answering it. Um, just like they said, this I'm just showing this picture. I think I'm going to, this how um this is just a, a typical illustration of how HTML and CSS is. Um you can see we have our our body as our frame. HTML is is categorically always divided into two. Just we have the head and we have the body. Those things that um you won't be able to see will be inside the head, linking of different things, linking your CSS, linking your JavaScript. They will all be inside your head. Except the title, I guess so. Except the title is what you know, you can only, you, you mostly see in your browser. So most of it, you are always going to see it. Um, you are always going to, you are not going to be seeing it. Your meta description, um, your link, your everything, everything that's inside your um, inside the head is not going to be something. So I'm trying to now. Okay, sorry for that. So most of you are going to just going to see it on. Um, we are not going to see anything, but in your body, anything you type in your body, either it has um, either it has a an HTML tag or no HTML tag, you will definitely be seeing it. So um, thank you, favor. Good morning. So now, um, okay. So let me start with the issue of um, of um, of twice the co span. And secondly, um, I also like to open my Zuri page so that I can see the task itself. And um,
Okay, the task. So as regards, um, okay, let me just open it. Um, let me try page two. For those of you still sending message as regards, um, you have not been, uh, you have not been um, graded. We are going to grade all the tasks. So be rest assured. So don't be afraid that now maybe you're out of 20 points or 10 points, you're having two or three. And you're having like two or three, ten, two or three courses, I'll be two or three tasks that's not been graded. Uh, um, don't be worried, you have everything graded. Okay, I think I have to. I want to see. I want to use this task so I can see exactly. So we can. I can use that to explain. Actually, there are some logic that we expect you to be to be the one to do on your own. This day, programming is not about coding. It is about solving a real life challenge. Suppose that you are working in the school as a teacher. You are working in the school and you are giving that data. We all have. You know. Just like when we are in secondary school or we are in um, junior secondary school or university, we we'll have a lot of data, but we must find a way to present it. You are giving like um, 100 people scores. You are told to, you need the average, you need the total, we need the position. We don't want to know who comes first and who comes second. All these things are something you can use um, JavaScript or your HTML and CSS to solve. So how do you present data? That's what we ask you. So that's why I'm not going, basically going to be telling you how you are going to be arranging your data but we want you to have serial number. Um, you know, let me check the next page. So we have go, we provided you the data. So just tell us my what what I'll be expecting. Um, I'm already I have a solution offhand that I know. Okay, this is a task. I have a solution offhand, but it's also good. It's also good to know what your own solution is going to be. So you don't need to copy someone else. Tell us how you are going to arrange your own data on the table and let's see how it works. Um, now, okay, so this is the, yeah. So this data, now we're having all this data. We started uh, class of SS2, we have uh, mathematics, all these subjects. Now we want you to present us with the data. So so to so use Mr. Data, provide an HTML table that has the headings. I, in HTML, we have different, um, Elements are we have been tagged. We have the headings. So I think we have even explained it. The th is the heading. Even between the th and the t, the tds are that the th they are always have to, they are going to be bold. You always see it to be bold. So I think um, yesterday, um, Victoria makes a mention of um, or clarify how you are going to be adding border and cell padding and cell spacing to it. So I just want to make uh, a little bit of information about how you are going to make your total score column to be twice the score column. So I'll be opening, I'll be opening W um, that same page again so that I don't want, I want it to be side by side. I want it to be side by side. I said, okay, now I make effectively adding co span um, to table. So that, this is what I, I posted. So that you can be able to see. We check to it. Okay. Okay. So now I said by MDN documentation, the default code span is one. So I'll be opening my VS code here. I don't think we need this border. Oh, I even made a mistake in the post I made. I'm writing GSS, something like GSS. It's not, it's not supposed to be, but you should be able to collect that. Can you all see my VS code? Okay, yeah, I think everyone can see. Um, so this is what I have here now. Um, I'll be minimizing this. And I'll be minimizing this. Okay, so I'll open this with Live Server. So this is what we have with live server. I believe everyone can see my code. Sorry, it doesn't, doesn't need to be big. This one needs to be big. Can anyone see my code? And can everyone see my code also? Um, okay, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing the response. So now. Please kindly illustrate the total score co-span again as it's not working for me. Now, 
for you to, I already told you that, um, I already told you earlier that um, um, the default cospan is one. Just like I said in the post, the default cospan we are going to see is going to be one. So how do you increase it? Normally without, uh, if you are not giving this one a width, because I give it a width here, if you are not giving this width and height, what this one is going to just is going to give them a one-one ratio based on their size. There's something we call when we reach CSS. Uh, um, um, there's something we call width. Should just be um, the content. Should just fit the maximum content. So this one is just giving the maximum content. You can see the if I put X here, it will still take it. Name of students. If I put here, it's still going to take it. It's not going to wrap. So it's taking the maximum content. So now, but that's not where we are going. When we reach CSS, we we'll discuss better about that. So we are having this. Now, if you want to make the core span of one to be two, for example, now I'm deleting this, everything still remains the same. You are not seeing anything, everything still remains the same here. So how do you want uh, how do you want the core span of this age or for this sex to be twice? Now, um, for you to make it like that, there is an attribute. As um, I believe this, you really be needing it. There are all called attributes in CSS. Attributes give you more, uh, it helps to more uh, description or give, uh, give you more details about uh, an element. For example, now we are all on this, on this Zoom call. If I said, Allah, Allah, Muiz, okay, I'm saying, I'm just saying, <laughs> if I say, Allah, Muiz, that for that name, I'm giving him an attribute. Because I'm giving now, if I say someone, anyone can answer. But if I say Alao Moise, then Alao Moise is going to be the one to, that is going to answer. So definitely, uh, we can give it an attribute. There's an uh, there's, so there's uh, for table you can give it an attribute because the problem now uh, the talent now is this CSS um, HTML alone cannot work without CSS. We require CSS to be able to manipulate your um, HTML. So but now we are not yet in CSS class, so we need a way to do our thing. By herself. So, um, so with this now, if I said add an attribute, I said in the post that you should add an attribute called width, and you give it. Sorry, in my post, I'm putting it as a as something like this. It's totally wrong. It's supposed to be an it's supposed to be an equal sign. Please, it's supposed to be an equal sign. Now I want to give this table, and you can give it any width. Just be uh, an absolute value. Uh, if I give it, let me say, 200 pixels now. Now you can see now it's shrink, but let me increase it. Let me give it, let's say, 800. Now you can, okay, this is too much. Let me give it 500. Now you can see now the table size has now become bigger. But what you notice that they are now having equal size is like, let's say the width here is 500. So each one of them is having 500 divided by um, 500 divided by three. Each one of them is having this value. But want this one to be twice. Want this one to be twice. And I've told you uh, before that this cost, the cost span here, the default size here is one, one, one. So if I uh, write here now, and I'm writing cold span of one, if I'm copying this, if I copy this and I copy this also, you can see now there's no changes. Because the reason why there's no change is, okay, there's no change. You can't see any change because they are having the same value. They are having the same value because that's the default value. Now, if I want sex to be two now, let me put it as two. You can see now this sex is having twice. If I'm, if I'm giving name of student to be one, then sex is having twice of it. Now, if I want age two to be, let's say three. Now, if I expand this, Oh, that age does not change. Okay, if I give this like, let's say 800 now. I'm expecting the age cost to be to, to be more. But anyway, if that doesn't work, um, now we have back to our 600. This value here, supposed to, we want this to work. Okay, is there anything I'm doing wrong? If I return this back to one, this one, one, and one. So we're having this one, one, and one. 
So if I'm making this twice now, this will, this will, this will be bigger uh, than the contents of this. So even if I expect all of them to be, but this, so why is it not, why is it not working for H? If I'm making these two to be twice, so all of them are having equal, equal value. So now it's going back to the, uh, uh, to the previous value. I expect this three to work, but I don't know why. So now, so in your, um, so in your task, if you are putting, you don't need to put a cospan of one here on the, you don't need to put a cospan of one on, um, you don't need to put the cospan of one on maybe the name or the score. But since you want, like, I want the sex, um, the sex aspect to be twice, so I can just put two here. So now it's going to take twice. So that's, um, <laughs> Moise. So that is how it's going to be. I hope this um this clarify the issue of um, um the issue of cospan should be twice. Please, if you are having if you are still having any issue concerning this um, cospan should be twice, please kindly drop a comment. Kindly drop a comment in the chat box so I can be able to I can be able to know if I there is a need for um further clarification. We can see your code. Okay, thank you. The task given about the table, it says made of submission is URL. Must it be in code pen because it wasn't given just for others? I'm confused. Um, okay, let me check the task again so I can clarify that. Okay. Sorry. So now I'm just going to make I'm going to make this correction here so that anyone sees this. Okay, I'm making this so. I think I just said the Emmanuel, just give it, give the table, give it a width. That will make it easier. Because normally the API is just like, if I said, okay, share something between Moise and um, and um, Adeyinkane Anibiri. Uh, if I said share something, um, share something with them, normally you are going to share it equally until I give you a ratio. So that cost point, if I say a cost point of two, that will give it, a cost one of two. That means I'm giving it to the one ratio two. Please, somebody try this thing now. Let me see. Try it. Um, try it now. Please try it. Uh, those of you that you are saying it's not possible, can you try it now by giving it a width and let's see if it's going to work? So your mode of um, so submission. Uh, let me see what other people have been submitting. Yeah, you have to submit your code pen URL. You have to submit your code pen URL. So just like this, this is a code pen URL. This is some this is someone task. You can see this is a task by someone. You can see now we're having this twice in zone space. Or if you, yeah, you can. So um, that's just it. Another thing, if you write um, the width here, Let's say it should be um, 300 pixels. Let's see if this work. Um, but let me remove this cold span. Cold span should be, it doesn't work. Yeah, I understand why it's not working. It's not an attribute for him. So I think that, that should answer your question about that. Um, that should answer your question about that. So, um, fan, uh, fabulous is there? Please, have you tried? Have you tried using it now?
because now um, if I'm, if this is my total score, uh, if this is my total score now, so now the under sex we have in this. Under sex we're having, let me say male. Okay. Okay, if this is the issue, just wait, let me debug it. We're having something like this. Oh, wow. Oh, that we need to postpone it to be too awesome. Okay, now this work. So can you see this? Now I'm giving, I'm adding this same value because this, the reason why we're having this challenge is that this HTML, this is not, uh, we are not manipulating with CSS. I'm doing this to 600. Okay, please, if you're having an issue, try and post it inside your inside the form because normally I'm not supposed to go through the um your the chat here i'm i'm supposed to use the i'm supposed to use the form so now if i'm adding another if i'm adding another line now and this one name is alaomo is i hope i will get this um the spelling right should be 200 years and gender should be prefer not to say Now, this having it, but you can see, but suppose, let me assume that I'm removing this, if it is solvency now, it's now, everything is now scattered. So you have to put this in every of this part so that you maintain that, um, you maintain, so you have to maintain it. Or basically all these things have been done in CSS, like it has I've been done in CSS, but because we are not teaching CSS for now, that's why we are having this issue. But, once we move out of um, HTML, we'll be able to use CSS to manipulate our HTML. I hope this is clear. Um, well, um, I don't need to. I don't need to put a. I don't need to put a cost span. What if there's not another cost span? I don't really believe that we we'll have to create another um, cost span here to be able to work on it. If you're able to work without putting another cost span there, so I think that that should answer um, the question about this one. I will still be checking the comments. Um, if um, if you are having any issue as regards the cost span, should be twice of it. And um, yeah, so I'll be still be waiting. There's not, it's not necessary that it, uh, another another um, cost punch, another um, column should be next. What if we, I don't, I am, I, I don't have plan of adding another column here or another, yes. So that should not be, but put the value here just like I did, it will work. Yeah, just like I did here, it will work. Um, now we are not using CSS, so. We want to do it without using CXS. So this, this is a challenge that we have to embrace and it has to work. I, I think that's um uh I think that's um that works fine. Um now someone is asking that um explain the better instruction that say ensure each uh, each scores as a class attribute. That's what something we call an attribute. Let me let me use MGM document so I can explain better. Um attributes. Now, all, all HTML um, elements, they have an attribute, yes. Anything that is written between this opening and closing tag, because between this opening and closing tag, is called an um, attribute. This is what I mean. This is the opening and this is the closing. Now, anything, I suppose I'm giving it a P, another, let me say P here. 
I'm closing this P tag like this. Suppose I'm closing this P tag and I'm writing P here. Suppose I'm closing something like this. I'm having something like this. Now, anything written before, before inside this place, after this element, is what we call an attribute. I can give it a data. I can, you can give it your own. I can give it my name. I can give it my name. Should be Moise. This this my name equals uh, this the um, this is the name and this is the value. Uh, this is the, this is the value now. So now if I check this attribute of my name now, if I go to my console now, and I um and I check and I let's did I write anything there? Okay, let me give it Moise as the name here. Now we're having this. Okay, we are having Moise here. If I inspect this now, come on. If you look at, I'm going to uh, maximize so everyone can see. If I zoom this now, I hope everyone can see my, I hope everyone can see my um, VS, my browser. You can see now, after this, we are having my name equals, my name equals Moise. This my name equals Moise is an attribute. The value is what? Is Moise. The value is Moise. So that's mean by an attribute. And for example, now, an image element, this image, they have a lot of attributes. Part of the attribute is the source attribute. Is the source attribute, that means where, um, what is the link? How do we get, what's the link for that image? That's mean by the source attribute. It also have an auth, that means a description. It's also an attribute. So after writing an attribute, you can also give in your own attribute. I can give my own attribute. I can say image equals, um my picture my pics so now if you look at it now it's also having this image because my pics as an attribute so um that's best explain it now we are told to add a class attribute so for example now this thing i can ask this this is a class attribute what's the value let's call it name because for example here my all this okay this is the name why this TD here, the class here is, um, the class here is, let's say, age. Why this one? You can have as many attributes as you want. The class here is, um, the class here is the sex. So all of them you are going to, if you have more than, if you have like um, 10 or 15, you are just going to copy the same thing and write it like that as an attribute. I hope that is clear about, um, I hope that is clear about, um, about what we mean by class and class attribute. You can also add an ID attribute. The only difference is that ID attribute usually is always unique. So I'll be going through some other questions. I'm sharing my screen. I'll go, I'll be going through some other questions again so that we can so that we can um, yeah I'll be sharing my VS code now. So now now, other question is this. The, can we use style tag to style our HTML web page in the assignment? Yes, you can use it, just that we are, you have not been taught. You can use it, just that we, are not, we have not been taught. Just like I have written here, you can see my style here. You can see my style. I wrote a style element at the head, inside the head here. So you can also, so you can also use it. So you can also use it. I don't know how I don't know how you make your own um, how how you make your own table. The same way you have a cold span is the same way you can have a row span also. If you have a row span, give it an height also. If you have a um, a cold span, give it a width. And if it's not working, please try and um, send me, um, try and send a screenshot of your code to me on the, on the, on the Slack. But that's, that works from my, from, my, from my end. So now let's move away from that. So now, yeah, I think I've, I've answered that question. How do I add 
image to the code pen for the triple page. I can see a lot of questions as regards to that. Now I'll be going to I'll be going to my code pen like this. I'll be going this is my code pen. I hope everyone can see. If you can see my code pen, let me know. The last row can't span two column because it is the last. Okay, if it can't span two column, put it in the middle. Put it somewhere. It might, it's not necessary. The um, it's not necessary. Uh, it's not necessary that the total score should be the last. Um, should be the last column. You can put another one there. I'm so surprised you're having this because some people have submitted this. So if you're having this, just send me a screenshot of it. I've changed mine to two, but it's not working. Do you give it a width? I Do you give your table a width of like, let me say 900 pixels or 800 pixels? Check if you give it a width and I'll be expecting your comments. Now, someone asked, how do, how do I put an image? For example, now let me create an, just an HTML here that we are seeing. I need to close this, this is not right. So this is fine now. Now I'm had, I want to add an image attributes. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sharing my screen. Okay. Oh, Flames, thank God. Uh, I know what attribute is and how to use it. I just want to understand if that instruction means all cell. Yes, if it means all cell, put it there. It's just a matter of you doing a copy and paste. Now, um, this is an image now. There's nothing there. There's nothing here. If I put a source here to be this, it will be broken here because there's nothing here. Now, I do, let me, I'm going to start for my image online. I'm still my VS Code here. Can you, see, can you see my screen now? Okay, you can't see my screen. Uh, okay. Okay, can you see? Okay, now, okay, yeah. Yeah, if you can see my screen now, this is my, if this is my image now, if I right click on this. Okay, if I right click on this, now I'm going to click um, copy image address. Copy image address. This is my, if I copy this image address now, Okay, now everybody can see my screen, okay. So this is my um, copy image address now. I've clicked on it here and I've copied it. Now, if I go to my source attributes now, and uh, let me paste it, let's see if it works or not. Now, can you see it's working on my own end? So uh, you can also style it, but we have not issue about um, style. I think it's supposed to take, I don't know if it takes an attribute. Now if this, yeah, it takes an attribute of, um, let me say 40. Now I've styled it now. It takes that attribute of 40. So now I think I, I believe that this should solve the question, the question we are having as regards as regards image. Please we'll have um, if you have a further question about that, let me know. I think I've explained that. And um, I can write height of um, I can put an height of um, 500. This one too will work, just that it should be somehow, yeah. You can just make it um, something like this, or you got the picture. So, um, so I hope this works. Can you shorten the URL? Will it work? Uh, it depends on, um, I don't know um, what URL you are using. If you have a, the URL of the image, you can definitely put it there. Joe, I understand that there's, there are some times that you have, um, you have a challenge with putting it there. But our advice will just copy the image URL and use it. 
Uh, okay, so I'll be going through the question again. If your terms have not been graded, you'll be graded. How do I calculate the sum of row on HTML to calculate? This is your calculator, um, Victoria. Or you, you do one plus two plus three, you get it. But I think um, you can always calculate. And um, well, I don't know. If you have another, you can copy it somewhere and paste it. And if you have a code, if you know how to write a code, you can write a code that will be able to calculate it. So I think that should work also. How do you calculate the sum? This question, this question sounds somehow. Total score means that the score of each subject, if it's called um, 10, uh, if it's called 10, uh, if it's called 10 in biology and score 15 in uh, English, 17, um, something like that, add each, each one together, that will give you the total score. I'll calculate this one. I think I saw the total start on each. I want to use um, VS code or code pen. You are taught to use code pen. So I have answered that you can also style your, you can also style your image. You can use any style you want. It's acceptable. And those that are not using not penalty. I will try as I mean, the task for course plan isn't clear enough. Maybe you should try a demonstration of the results you want without supplying the code. Then these edits, then also the editing of the same table. Well, you are to, we want you to be convincing. Now we want you to apply your own uh, intuition also. We want you to think of something of how do you, you are, we are having this challenge now. This is, a, this is a problem that um, HTML can solve. How do we solve it? So you two you should try and uh, make a suggestion for us. I'm not using code pen pro, I'm using the normal code pen. No, I didn't say so, um, Sam, Sam, I'm not saying that, but I just think that um, you should be able to um, add it. So sorry if it sounds like that, I don't mean that. In the table task, is the adding refined Referring to an H1 or T8. In the task, we said TH. TH is what we mean by T8. Yeah, the T TH is the heading. The TH element represents a eta cell. That's what we mean. Uh, that's what we mean. The TH is what we mean. So, um, Um, in the tax, in the heading, can the border cell padding and cell uh, space be required to be an attribute, or can we use the style tag? Yes, it can be required. It can be as a padding. It's only the border that have been depreciated that has not been um, useful in uh, in HTML5. I know it's a bot. You can use um, you can use it as an attribute, and it will work. In the HTML form and table, can, can one substitute the use of div and use the section tag to achieve the same result? I don't understand um, where we are going to use the. We are not using the VA in the table, so so we are going to. We are going to be using um, use just use the table element. We have table. Uh, we have table th th. Um, we have td. We have tr. Those are the ones you should use. I think I've um, explained. I've clarified. Please clarify the this. Ensure the total score as a cospan twice is semi. I think I've clarified that. Cell space, cell space is an attribute. Um, cell space is an attribute. T try and check your, uh, try and type this cell uh, space, cell, cell space in, inside your table, uh, inside your table, uh, table element is going to work. I think I've clarified this also. Okay, now someone said that, um, someone said, why are the questions on the table tasks? How do I attach class att attribute to the, uh, to my ID, TD, and yeah, I think I've explained it. They are all attributes, attributes are something after you write the element before the uh, closing tag, after it gives space and put the attributes. I think I've explained, please try and watch the video also. If your tasks are not being graded, definitely your tasks will be graded. I will still come back. I'm seeing some questions as regards um, image um, uploading inside them um, um, from, um, um, from, from Google Drive. I will attend to it. I didn't understand how to link an image to a page, the alignment of it and all, all of that. Yeah, you are just told to 
you, when you put your image, when you put your image, your image might be too big. That's why we are saying that. For example, now, this is my image, this is it here. So you are told to just put something like, uh, you should give it an attribute, a style attribute, a style of, let's say, a style, our height is um, 30 pixels. So this is what you are, this is what you are told to do. This is what you are told to do. So that the image will be small. So that's what is being written inside your, um, inside your tax to be done. Put it, if you're having issue, if, um, if a code pen is giving issue of putting doc type and other stuff like, like that, just put it and ignore the warning. Because they have already written HTML. They have already written HTML. So everything you're writing here is going to be HTML file, but put it. So we need to know that if you understand, uh, if you understand the, um, the task. So that's why we need, we need to know if you understand the task. So put it and let's see. Okay, this will be a mistake. I'm not going to change it. Next. So, okay. So, concerning Mr. Ade, I don't know why people are having issue with uh, Mr. Ade. Moise, why are people having issue with this? I think I've explained um, the course plan should be twice. There are different ways, but I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not going to be teaching you. Um, I don't want to teach you anything related to CSS. So I've told you, if we are going to use CSS, it's just a um, simple method. But I'm not, we are not in CSS class, and I'm not going to encourage you to use it. So let's use the HTML that we know to solve the question. We don't need to move the HTML. You don't need to, uh, we are not styling it. You don't need to move the image to the center. Um, that is flames. You don't need to move the image. Let, let it be where it is. Because on the HTML table task, I'm having a problem with cold span. Course span means that the width of the column, that's what we mean by course span. I hope this answers your question. Also, uh, the HTML task must it be done on code pen. Well, do it anywhere and you can copy to your code pen. But if you submit your GitHub or you submit an hosted GitHub to me, that's calling zero. So concerning the tribute tags, should the title we are asked to make to be a tag or just the code pen type two. We are told, we are told, use, we are told to use um, semantic HTML. So we are going to be using an adding tag. <laughs> so sorry, sorry that uh, you are the one, uh, you are the one having issue and uh, Mr. Ade is collecting salary. Sorry about that, but just help Mr. Ade out. Mr. Ade really need your help. Concerning the tribute tags, should the title we ask be a tag? I think I've explained that. It should just be an, we have adding elements. Use the adding element, uh, adding element or adding tag we have, use it. The, my question is based on, on one of the tags, Mr. Day. The instruction does not include student name in the column. And I believe it should, right? Yes, it should. If you put it there, if you wish, you can put it there. That's fine. Thank you. Okay, please help Mr. Adeo. Can I include a score column for each subject in my table? Just, I'm not going to, typically I'm not going to, I'm not going to be the one to explain this to you. Do it everyone, just make sure it's going to, it's, it comes in front of it uh, in front, uh, as a form of a table. Uh, my own perspective of solving the problem might be your own. So it's, the coding is not uh, about, it's not a one way, uh, one way task. You can do it in different way and we are going to achieve the same results. Please, there's a link, check your, check your elements. You are going to see the link there. What, which platform use HTML to create, um, which platform are using HTML to create the, um, to create the, I mean, start this table. Can I include a score column? Yes, I think I've, um, I've explained that. Can I share more on TR and TD class attribute? I think I've explained that also. So if you miss out on it, please check my um, comment. So help me, I couldn't get the CS code opening after downloading. What means, okay, VS code opening after downloading. Are you sure you have installed it? With regards to the task, I'm having sure understanding. 
Ensure the table head has a serial number. Yes, ensure the table test has a serial number subject. Yes, that means on your headings, the headings that, that like I showed you before, the headings should make sure that this is my own heading now. Yeah, we are not told to have uh, the serial number, blah, blah, blah. So this is my own editing. So make sure your own tool is here. With this illustration, I believe that you're supposed to have gotten how you are going to work on it. Um, okay, I will mark this one as answered. I'm currently interning at an aviation company and I don't meet up with the office hour due to the lack of time and traffic in Lagos. I'm so sorry. Um, just like, okay, don't let me say this. But um, sorry about this. Um, you can always watch the video after the class. Yes, for me, that as other tasks, you have to use, you have to submit your code pen. So please submit your um, code pen. The le lesson doesn't seem to be step by step. Which is there a reason it is this way? Is that way? Please, I don't understand what your question is. You can definitely um, elucidate on what you are trying to say. You didn't make it. Uh, you didn't make it uh, totally clear. Class attributes are something that you are going to use to attribute are something that you are going to use to describe an element. Like now, as I've explained before, all, if I say all students to type yes in this uh, in this, um, if I say everyone on this call should type yes. Every one of you is going to type yes. If I say allow me is type yes, it is only allow me is that is going to type yes. That yes is typing means that he is the, that attribute is only for him. He's one that's only having that allow me is as an attribute. So that's why you are having that. I hope, um, I hope you understand um, that. And hide is also an attribute. Um, source is an attribute and class is also an attribute. So uh, if you add it to all of them, it's, if, you, if you can add it to all of them, fine. If you don't add it, if, if someone penalizes you for it, it is also fine. The reason why we are going to add it to it is this, though this is an, is an, is not, is an archaic way or it's not the best way. For example, now we want to style all the TD. We can style them, there's something we call element selector and class selector. We can use the element selector, but in the case we decide not to use the element selector, we decide to use, um, we decide to use a class selector. Then we have to give each one of, of them that class attributes. So I, I've explained what we mean by a class attribute. For, for, for the task on creating HTML, is it okay to rearrange the subject and the name of the student in alphabetical order? It's okay. Do it anyone. B. Uh, how do you call it? Explore a lot of a, a mess. Do it any how you want it. I'm okay with it. For for the two tasks, can you use VS Code for the task? You can use VS Code and you copy your your you copy your solution to um to code pen, but don't submit VS Code to me. You submit a link to your VS Code. I'm going to grade it down. I try to add code point two to the total score, but it doesn't take that effect. How can it be solved? I've explained to you, give the give it a width and do the necessary, give it a width and give it a cost point of two. It will definitely work. I hope this will clarify. Please, is in the Zuri tax update, update your profile and I'm convinced about what is what to submit is the screenshot of the updated page of my state of original. Please, I'll leave this one gray. I don't really understand. And I don't have uh, much time. I don't. I don't want to check through the other. So I, I, I will. One. When next another mentor is coming up, I will, this uh, question will be answered. I use Copen on my mobile phone. That's good. How do I hide the emit abbreviation for my HTML code? Ah, uh -uh. you can't have your cake. You can't eat your cake and have it now. Emit will not be there. I, I don't think emit is also on this. Um, on the on. Um, I don't think emit is on the uh, code pen also. So you can't uh, have your cake, uh, um, it's your cake and have it. So you don't have emits on your phone. So that's just the simple, um, simple response. Uh, uh, nobody will score you unjustly. If you have any issue, reach out to the person that agreed you or reach out to me personally. 
I will reach out to the person or I will clarify it. It appears CSS doesn't have a it appears CSS doesn't have a skeleton CSS skeleton. I couldn't understand when the method apply an external link into our HTML and could and I couldn't follow. Sorry about that. If you don't understand that, but you it will be further cleared. It's just for you to better see what is happening. That's why um that's why it's being written there. Yes, we have to calculate the total score. We have to calculate the total score. Yes, put an ID attribute. I think I've explained what you mean by ID attributes. I've explained it. If you want to add height, it's okay. You can add height. You can be just be innovative with it. You can add height. Serial number means that the order number one, number two, number three, number four, that's what we mean by serial number. I hope that is clear. That's what we mean by serial number. Just give it a serial number. And you can generate your own serial number. You can, give, you can start from 500, 501, 506. Just give it, let's be serial. I'm here to be clear the last few tasks. Yeah, you are lucky that the task, the task, the task you submitted uh, yesterday has been graded. It's possible. So um, it's possible and it do happen. So yeah. We two tell us I'm a taxi didn't say. Abby, um, I don't understand your question. You have to use your VS, you have to use your code pen. So for the for the task. So please, if that wasn't clarified, please try and Try and get it now. You are going to be using your code pen. In the tax, in the table tax, are the scores supposed to be calculated? Have we already given the score? The total score is what you say we should calculate. Oh yeah, please, what's the issue we are having? It was mentioned in the question that I should ensure the total score as a post pan. I think I've attended to this. I know this this one challenge everyone is um, facing, but I'm happy you're having this challenge. But I'm happy you are being you are getting it and you're able to solve it. So that's just um, that's just it. it's the reason why we are here is just to solve challenge, and not to get everything on a platter of gold. So please now one of the instruction or the table says we should resume. We should ensure the headings as an idea for Yes, I think I've explained that. Please, I'm um, i I keep missing out on some of the classes due to bad network, but I also try to download them after the class is done. Though I will know. A link to with a link that will lead to any biography of the of the tribute. Yeah, for example, now um let me, if I want to write it, let's say tribute, for example, I want to write a tribute to um, um Bolagi. Let's say Bolagi. Bolagi. For example, now um see this is a now, if you want to see Bola like details, you can come here. But so now you are, you are told to add a link. So I, I'll copy this. For example, I mean, I'll copy this link now and go to my a, my link. Then here, I will just use an A tag. In HTML, we use A tag to um to reference or to link a page together. So now this is my link. And I can just say Bola Gay. Bola Gay tributes page. Then I can just come here and give it an H5 here. So anyone who open this and I can say, and I can say that our target here should be blank. I don't want to open the same, should be blank like this. Now, if I open this now, if I click on this now, it will open this page. So this is what would mean that you provide a link. So that I think that's what um, that's what you are told to do. So when, when they mean by a link, I hope that is clear. Please, what does this mean? Ensure the following tag is in your work. That means you are going to use this tag. Use more. Use fig, uh, fig caption. Use it. Just don't use p p p p p p p. Use all this one too. Also, how will I add an image? I hope you can send me a response because the network keep breaking each time I want to work there. So I think this, um, this okay, I, I think I've seen favor here. Am I mistaken? I think I saw someone 
um, favor of coming online. So if you still have this, um, this challenge, you can send me a message on Slack. So now we should be rounding up. Um, I think I've answered this and I've answered this also. Can I do the introduction to HTML of VS Code and copy and paste on Copen? If it's okay for you, you can do it. Just make sure that what you are copy, what you copy is okay. Also, in the last uh, triple page, this what is block code, uh, block code, figures, subcaptions, and all about. They are all HTML elements. Please check your uh, um, research on it on how to, you are going to get it. They are also used. Uh, they are also just like we have Peter. We also have HTML um, block code. They are all. Um, HTML elements. The tax say we should ensure that our TR has a class. Yes, I've explained this. For the assignment on HTML, when we use link uh, on to HTML for which two, should we use the line break or it should be paragraph? Anyone you wish to use. But if you are using line break, you'll be having like, um, instead of writing a single line, you'll be writing or using a single element, you'll be using two or three elements. Okay, um, some of you prepared to read. Okay, that will be noted. And I will also make reference. So I think um, this has been explained. I think I've explained this also. So once the idea is over CCTD, just write, just add it. I'm, I'm, I'm still, on, I'm still trying to get how we have uh, CCTD, uh, CCTDs, but just add it together, Sha. What's the standard, or what's the standard or criteria of laptop one can use for this internship program? Just anything that is, um, that has, um, there's no one you can use. Any, if it can download VS Code, and you can use your browser on it, you are good to go. But at least anything for more than four gigrams will be able to, be able to work. How do I submit the task for the table using CodePen or Google Docs? Use CodePen. One of my tasks included your task to be graded. On HTML skeleton, is it valid if the attributes of the meta tag are embedded into one line? Um, yes, you can put it in one line. That will communify in um, um, in um, in VHS, your your uh, all your code will be unified to a single line also. So that's good if you want. I think I've made clarity on this course plan. I'm not convinced on. When you say each text course, you have a class I do. I think I've explained this also. Uh, I've explained this also. Please, I hope you are getting. I hope you are getting my um, explanation. Please, if my explanation is getting, if my explanation is getting you confused, let me know on the chat box. But I believe um, I'm trying to. I'm trying my best to make sure that the uh, everything is um, everything is thoroughly explained. So it's almost 12. So as we just know, okay, I think um, just, just, just don't worry. If it's not working, just write like that and copy your code. If it's not working. I think um on this um on this note, we'll be drawing the curtain. So we still have more questions, which when another method comes online, we are going to be we are going to be answering it. And um, Okay, one thing I think I didn't mention, but I will try now if it works and if it didn't work, for example, I want to make this image, if it didn't work, then I'll try and make it, I'll try and make further research on it and I'll get back to you. And I'll get back to you. For example, now, I don't think I have an image here. Let me see if I have an image here and copy the link. Okay, I can't see any image. I don't have any image, but... Let me go to my own processor is um okay we have got i7 uh what do you call it 2.9 gigs for example now if I want to add this image it's almost time someone should be waiting for me so if I want to add this image now you can just copy um copy it's supposed to be copy image URL but if I go, if I search, copy this now.
that is this one will be so long. I'm I'm looking for one that will. I'll copy this image address. Let me paste it here. Okay, that's okay. Now this is the image address for this. Now if I copy this and I paste it here, if I copy it and I paste it here, okay, no. Yeah, it works. It works. So I don't. It depends on where you are copying your image. So make sure you copy it from somewhere you can. Be able to use it. So you can see now it works. So with this, we are already someone was already waiting to join this uh, Zoom. So thank you very much for joining this class. Um, I will be expecting your make a comment if you if there's anything you have gained throughout this class, and and I will also be expecting a comment if there's anything you want me um to talk about in my next class. So thank you everyone for joining the call. Um, I'm wishing everyone um. I'm wishing everyone success. We are here to help you. If you have for the, if you need further clarification, please reach out to me on my Slack, on Slack, and we can always discuss about it. Um, thank you everyone for joining. Um, yeah, so see you next time. Bye bye.